Hello. I keep forgetting that alt tabbing all the screen just kills it. Hold up. I should have remembered that. Ah, oh, window. There we go. So where am I up to? I'm not sure. I'm trying to trying to figure out how I can approach this game. Should I try to do all the side quests? I don't think so. Um, but I want to do the main quest line. I'm just comparing like the percentage that's shown on the save. Seems like I'm moving along fairly. Uh, quickly, that's not the right word. Reasonably. Whereas I'm playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it's like 1 2% after 10 hours. Well, it feels like that. Um, so what we're we doing? What am I doing here? Oh, that's a. That's like an event thing. I was doing something here. Buy a pipe. I think the shop didn't have any pipe. That's right. I was helping a lady out, bringing her back into town because the horse crashed on top of her. Oh, that's right. Uh, there's a character's brother joined some sort of weird cult. Come on. Give a fella a nickel. Give me a dime. Give me something. Uh, is it here, another guy? Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. Did I help you last I time? In the war. I fought for you. Again, I, I forgot what side you're on. I don't understand. I don't know the sides. Hey, brother. Hey, mister. Mister. I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother, but I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learnt that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Like when your poppy passed. Because you slept on it. What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him on account of his name. It's a fine name, a strong name, like a king. Thanks. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could. As in King Arthur? That's interesting. That's an interesting encounter. All right, let's go help the uh, the lady out. Where's my horse? All right. Oh yeah, that's right. I came to town, helped the lady out. Uh, the other lady was the. Uh, lost horse, uh, the horse that collapsed onto her. And I came and picked up gloves. Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Alright. Let's... I don't want to go back. I don't want to get into a situation. What? What was that? There was like a... They mentioned about a lady living in a place and you know, she never leave her house or something. Or something weird and bizarre. It's like a weird story. Was it Emerald Ranch, right? Was it Emerald Ranch? I was down there. I didn't see anyone uh, by that description. Maybe I just didn't pay attention. I think that was it. I think that was it. Yeah, I don't know how to approach this game. I, I just don't know. I have no idea. Approach as in, like, my mindset. I play a lot of big open world games, but... 
This is uh, this is a somewhat different experience. I mean, it is an action game, action adventure. It's got all these other components to it, which I'm not really all that fond of, like the the what is it? Oh no, what happened? Uh, see, I don't know why it does that. Yes. Um, maybe because the one I've loaded is newer than the autosave. If I click on story, there's no option to change, to pick the autosave. See, when, when I load it, I don't know if I'm loading it, uh, as the autosave or the, the save that I've done. What? I thought I cleaned the horse already. What the heck? Did I not clean the horse? You're all right, girl. There we go. Oh, the dead eye. I was talking about the dead eye. Like, I'm not really fond of the dead eye system. I understand they're trying to tie that with, you know, the stuff that you have to eat and drink to replenish it. But I'd rather that he did like a Max Payne style. Um, oh, it's someone behind me. As in, when you fight, it replenishes the dead eye. I'd rather that system, rather than have to drink or eat something. I suppose you can have, like, eat, drink, what was the other one? Oh yeah, cigarettes, cigars, smoking. Uh, and it would speed up that process, um, the p process of replenishing Dead Eye. I think they tried to combine these two elements of a simulation light system and action adventure. I don't know, I don't know how you would do a simu simulation light. Whereas Assassin's Creed games, the recent ones, are more RPG light and action adventure. I'm fine with that. And you have, well, I guess another good example is Days Gone. What was that? Oh, oh someone needs help. We don't got the key. Hey, let him go. Hey, hey, you get Isn't him, give it up. Shit, it is. Arthur Morgan is. Oh. Open up. Ah! Hey, no. Oh, what? They killed that guy. Hold up, can I save him? Oh no. Let's I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna try to save that guy. He's probably gonna report me. He's like, you just shot that guy. I'm gonna report on you. That's how the AI works. What happened to the guy behind me? He just disappeared. See, this is the other thing as well with this game. This is like, no, no, that part I shouldn't complain. No, that's fine. I, I think the... What, what is this? Did it save here? What did I, what did it transport me to? What? That's weird. That's a weird place to load me back up.
Can we talk to that guy again? Oh yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought in the war. I fought for you. Hey, mister. Hey, brother. Hey, mister. Mister. I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother, but I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Like when your puppy passed. Because you slept on it. What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him on account of his name. It's a fine name. A strong name. Like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could. Thanks, Mickey. You look after yourself. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Good about doing this. I need my GPS, man. Hello. Hello. Hey, partner. You're not wearing your hat. Did he look like he was tipping his hat? Oh. Here we go. I think this is saving it, yeah. What was I saying before? I forgot. Oh, I don't know if it's actually saved it. I'll, I can't tell sometimes. I really cannot tell. Um... wrong yep. just kept slowing down is it because I'm walking on the grass huh what the I mean it's getting some sort of input uh, confusion like just now I was holding on my W button didn't move and I had to stop doing that. Like I un unclick a person's not there anymore. It's like a random event. Oh no, yeah. Oh, not quite. Ow. Hey, no. You think you were a time novel? That was bad. <sighs> that was just terrible. Nope. Land on that guy as well. That's that's great. That's fantastic. <laughs> that was just horrendous. Horrendous. I see a lot of reloading in this game. Oh wait, is this the older?
Yeah. Reloads from here. Interesting. Right in the middle. I think that's the autosave system that's doing that. What? Oh, that's funky. I guess he can't really... Yeah, he won't sit. Uh, you can't load it up from... A, while you sit... Sat on the horse. Come on, girl. Yes. Dang, don't shoot. Oh, that is bad. Two people I couldn't take down. All right. That is bad. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Bad aiming. That's what I'm doing wrong. Can't believe it. This small encounter cost me 20 minutes almost. All right. This is terrible. Terrible with a capital T. This is why I told you I'm not joking. I'm not joking when I said I'm terrible at this. Maybe I should just oh, go back to Saints Row 3. <laughs> I've been meaning to finish that. And then try to finish 4. And maybe Agents of Mayhem. But I doubt it. That game's really grindy. Um... So bad, so bad. Um, all right, girl. All right. Yep. Oh, they're gone now. Really? Easy. What the heck? Are you serious? They're gone. That is bizarre. Four times now. No, three times? Like, I think I'm trying to do a perfect sort of thing. But I'm just not doing it right. Trying to shoot at them from a horse. Even when they're standing still. It looks like I'm not getting it right. Come on, girl. Mm-hmm.
Yes. My frame rate, okay. Oh, oh, oh I hear them. There they are. Alright, am I gonna screw this up again? Standing there. Nope. Bad idea. You got that right. Yeah. <laughs> you got that right. That's perfect timing. He's so badly hurt right now. Is that guy dead? Hey, mister. What is this? No, not him. The repeater. Not... Mm. I keep pressing the wrong button. This... This is... Tab. Huh? There we go. Is that guy gone? He's gone. Didn't even thank me. Oh. Calm the horse. Uh-oh, I forgot how to calm the horse down. See, that's another thing as well. There's like another key for that. I don't think I can calm the horse. So... I know I can sell this. Oh, where is my horse? Hold up. Wait. We're gonna have to eat a bit more, don't we? Potent cure. There's an old Driscoll. Can't pick up that gun. I stole this weapon or is that too much?
Okay. I don't know. That was, that was pointless. I thought I was going to get... Maybe I did get like a positive thing out of it. Yeah, should I should I take this my horse back? But then I gotta walk all the way back though, don't I? Hmm. Can I even Nope. Alright. Never mind then. Such a mess. Never mind. We could have got some money out of that. Yeah. But we would have to walk back out back. I wonder where that guy went. Just despawn. about help me and I shall help thee side quest help me please kind sir oh. donate him donate some stuff for him help a blind man okay sure There you go. Yo, Skulls. How's it going? You are not who you think you are, sir. Which is lucky. No. Uh -huh. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. Thanks. You have a good one, I'm sir. I'm sure you've got better things to do than follow a lame blind man around. Huh. You're doing good? Oh, that's good to hear, man. Good to see you. I don't... I haven't been streaming very often recently. I'm doing alright. Doing alright. Just haven't been in the mood for gaming much. I played, you know, a game or two, an hour here or there. That's pretty much it. Um, haven't really... Yeah, I haven't really done much. You play any games? Yeah, I'm just <laughs> not doing anything. Look at the sheen on the horse. Whatever it's called. You played anything? Yeah, I've just been very lazy, man. Very, very lazy. Not good. Hey there. Hi there, mister. Hi there. <laughs> Jump wagon. No, I don't want to do that. Any 
And you played this game before? I don't know if I asked you this. I think you, you did, you have, right? Yeah, this game takes a while to get into. Takes a long while. You have? Oh, okay. Did you have fun with it? Did you try to be a good Arthur Morgan? Or a... A head case. Yes, I did. Yes, I, I started it. <laughs> um, I started it like a few weeks back because um, I'd finished Assassin's Creed Valhalla after like almost 100 hours in that game. Um, and I thought, you know what? Time for another big open world game. Uh, so I decided I might as well give this a shot. It's diff definitely a very different experience. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I finished a couple of big games re recently oh, and took a big dump there. Um, yeah, it's definitely a very different experience compared to a lot of open world games that I played. It's something that I'm still trying to trying to get into the rhythm of it. It's it's not something I'm very used to. That's to be sure. Like I played like recently I finished Valhalla and Days Gone. Days Gone was like 60 hours and I like the pacing in that one and I replayed the last 3 or 4 hours of the Stranding as well. I spent almost, I don't know how many hours, 60 hours in that as well, total up. And I thought, yeah, time for something a bit different. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's the point. It is meant to be slow. I, I read, like, a lot of people mentioned that to me as well. It is, it is quite, this game is quite slow paced. Um, it's, uh, it's quite a different experience from all the other games that I played. But it's not just, it's slow paced in a different way. Like, I don't even ever play Death Stranding. That's a somewhat slow pace. All you do is just deliver stuff, right? But um, this is something else entirely. It's, I think, because of the th themes and stuff like that. Look at this. It is a very beautiful game. I gotta say. And yeah, it it's got that. Yeah. It's got that realistic sort of pace, I suppose, because of it being the Wild West. It's trying to... Ooh, I heard something. Did I hear a bear? Look at this. I mean... It is. It's one of the best looking game. They put a ton of effort into this. You could tell. Um, it's just that for me, the, the mechanics... Like, it doesn't fully connect with me. I don't know why. Maybe I haven't spent enough time on it. I I might be about 10, 15 hours in. It's it's something... I, I can't put my finger on it. I get it. It's it's a Wild West stuff. Um, oh, you've been doing the zipline. I, I barely use the zipline. I used that a couple of times. It's fun, though. It is fun. I, I, should, I should have done more with the zipline stuff. It's really good when you've uh, like leveled up quite a bit in that game in terms of the equipments and stuff like that you can build and use. Um, oh, this is the cult of theology. I'll talk a bit more about it. I'll just progress this a bit. Great Chelonian master led pilgrims across the Lanahasi into the wilderness. Gentlemen. Oh. oh. Hello, gentlemen. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. You gonna speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean. 
His sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Hmm. I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? Hmm. <laughs> Stupidity. <laughs> I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... Jamie. I'm not coming with you, <laughs> Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Oh, great. Leave it alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Oh, great, yeah, he's being poetic. I'm trying to make him a nice guy. Jamie, don't be like this. Come on, mate. Come on now. Good thing I got a fast horse. Oh, great. Just great. I have to cut through this. He's way ahead of me now. How is he so fast? Yeah, I'm not gonna make it, am I? He's already way ahead. I might have to reload again. Oh, don't tumble off. No! Oh, retry. I'm too slow. That's the other thing. Oh, wait. It's a checkpoint? I'm going to go through this again. All right, all right, Chelonians. Keep pressing the button. Thanks. I will. Respect to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. I've given him this uh, refined look, but it's still rugged. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak. Gave him gloves as well. Arthur? Took off his hat. I've chosen a path. So his hat won't keep falling the off in a fight. Chosen a path. He's like, nah, I'm He's not gonna pick up his hat all the time. Safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Um Undecided. I'm still searching, I guess. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not we gonna are all time. Searching. Chelonianism I'm not gonna is shoot about everyone. Searching. What do we so, well, search for? It's all about Chelonism. Chelonism. I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm Arthur not... is really an intimidating person. I'm not coming with you, Arthur. I was like, you Just don't want to mess with him. With Mary, he... Make up your mind. Come on, Arthur, come on. Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help. Whoa. Come on. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. Just fine by myself. Yeah, he's the type of character that you don't want to mess with. Sorry. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Look. For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. Jamie. This is none of your damn business. Am I going to have to use the lasso? I'm gonna have to use the last soul, don't I? Just stop and let's talk about them. You pop up out of nowhere? 
I'm gonna get busted by using the lasso. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. Oh, Jamie. You? Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. You're making me use the lasso on you, and I'm gonna get busted for that. Oh, he won't let me use the lasso. I'm too far. He is fast. My poor horse. Sorry, mister. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends. Yeah. Uh oh. My horse is running out of stamina. No. How is this horse able to do this? What? What happened? Am I supposed to... This is ridiculous. Am I supposed to use the lasso? You know, I've... Leave I've me alone, Arthur. Oh, good. I, I can do this. No? Oh, okay. Dang, Chelonians. What was I saying? I was saying something. Yeah, like... There's certain things, though, that I can't quite connect. I mean, as a kid, I'd watch... A lot of, uh... Wild West stuff, like John Wayne, They're Clint Eastwood... Um, Tombstone, yep. Quick and the Dead. Is it Quick and the Dead? I forgot what it's called. It, you know, a lot of the way. Western you stuff, like Spaghetti Western. And it's just that for some reason, I've never really grown to connect it as I, as I grew Stop. older. Let's talk about this. This yeah, that's it, Quick and the Dead. Um... What's the one with the Aerosmith music? Was it Aerosmith? One of them had... Like, it's a very 90s sakes, <laughs> cowboy show. Oh, no, I, I, I had to go to this. Like, stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Yeah. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. I was doing just fine by myself. Out of the way, sir! What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? Oh! They're my friends! Uh. I'm gonna miss them. What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Well, Wes, oh yeah, I remember that one. That was a good one too. It's funny stuff, that. <laughs> this is some of the nice, some of the coolest dialogue. Oh, freak! Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. What? Kid, just... Calm down. Leave me alone. What? What? Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. <laughs> Just busted his hand. Okay. <laughs> Okay. He blew his hand off. Thanks. Okay, 
You're okay, kid. You're all right. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? Just I lost, buddy. You're just lost. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Oh, you keep going. Well, That's interesting. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. No. Oh. Jesus, Jamie, come he on. He got scammed. Scammed. Um. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. <laughs> With the turtles. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Well, please send him my worst regard. <laughs> the thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. <laughs> apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. <laughs> I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. We're different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. Yeah, Arthur keeps it 100. Yeah, he... The other thing is the, the dialogue, the voice acting, the performance is just amazing. It's like nothing I've fully, like, experienced before. And it... I, I'm using the wrong word. Um, it's not really fully romanticizing the Wild West as well. It does sort of build on top of that and with the idea of legends and the mythology of the Wild West. Um, being the outlaw, the cowboy, you know, living out in the frontier sort of thing, sort of. Because this is like, I think, turn of the century. And the whole Wild West idea is sort of coming to a close with, you know, the building of the train the train tracks the railroad system expanding civilization and that that I idea of of being free and um living out doing your thing is is no longer a possibility for people like like uh like him yeah the uh, the idea of an outlaw not, not just an outlaw just just being, look at this, like, even that, this is like a form of storytelling, environmental storytelling. You see the industrial 
system being built up, the you know, industrial revolution and all that sort of thing. And that goes to show what the world is becoming in Arthur's world. Um, it's not just the idea of being an outlaw, it's just like living freely, the idea of being living freely um, yeah. out in the West. That That is a, a sort of a romanticism as well. Um, but at the same time, that's, you know, it's not fully possible because, yeah, they're out on the run. Uh, you know, they're, they're wanted people. They do terrible things as well. So they, like that, this is how my interpretation is. You, you can't really live freely at the same time as um, wanting to survive and doing whatever they want. So it's, it's catching up. Yeah, that's right. Freedom. It's 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 catching up with them. Um, it's an interesting conflict, and thematically, it really it comes together with the characters, the story, the environment, the the theme, the uh, the the time period. Um, I I appreciate that they can sort of do that. I mean, this is based on the amount of hours that I play. I haven't played a lot of it. But from what I played, that's that's what I feel, and uh, I. It's impressive, like in that regards. There's a lot of things that I wanted to turn up the in terms of the graphic f fidelity. I wanted to turn it up, but my my video card can't take it. It really can't. Like the clouds, I wanted to make it a lot better looking than that, but it's not happening. I have to turn the ground texture graphics to very high. So the ground actually looks decent. On high, it looks just not that good. I don't know why it's like that. <sighs> romantic, uh, brutal, and hard. Yeah, that's right. It's that's right. It's uh, it's a romantic idea, but it is brutal. <laughs> the the world they live in is brutal. Um, you can see it. The way that people live, what they have to do to survive. Oh, oh yeah, I imagine it would go into those themes. Um, I mean, I, I appreciate from that regards. It's like at, at a personal level, You're though. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Yep. At a personal level, I'm still trying to connect with the game. That's... That's the thing. There's there's different layers to it. Um, and it's yeah, we are. We're going in. I'm still trying to connect. Um, there are certain aspects that I'm not really fond of in terms of game mechanics. Make it quick, or I might run off again. Come on, Jamie. Don't be like that, man. I mean, you can like something, but at the same time still um, have issues with it or not enjoy it as much. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Three times when you got to the end. Yeah. Yeah, the, the game mechanics is a bit... I, I get what they're trying to do. Look, at its heart, it is an action-adventure game, right? I mean, like, it's, you know, it's a... It's got third-person shooter mechanics behind it. But I think they wanted to try something different uh, at the same time. And that's trying to do like a... Um, trying to portray this, as I say, the whole Cowboy Wild West thing. But this, how do they go about doing that? And also trying to slow down the pacing um, through that mechanics. Like when he enters certain places, uh, he can't run. He has to just walk properly. If you see other action third person open world games you can generally almost run even indoors but in this game in certain places you sort of walk at a faster pace rather than run around that's like one of the things to slow things down um, other things that that really like didn't gel well with me is how many keys i'm playing with mouse and keyboard um there are a lot of keys there's like a key to open things keys to pick up his hat separate keys to loot and separate keys to pick things up is that right and it just seems somewhat like 
it's not streamlined the the buttons um and i i saw i'm like so scared of pressing the wrong thing as well um yeah there yeah you're right rockstar does take the risk in that regards they try to change and make it a bit different um for for an action adventure game and i really appreciate that and and they've sort of put a sort of a rpg like survival light element into it whether or not it works properly um and in a very streamlined manner is is a different different discussion i think yeah uh, i i i I realize that it's definitely a controller style game. It's not very um, optimized for PC controls. Um, and yeah, that's, yeah, it's, it's, that's the nature of it. That's true. Um, yeah, it's just little things. Like, and I, before, um, I, when I was playing it, I, I had like a random encounter type thing. And, it was like uh, a carriage that was being robbed by uh, old Driscolls, some of the Driscoll gangs. I had to restart that like four times because I keep messing it up. <laughs> um. Anyway, let's uh, let's keep going. Oh, my horse is dirty. Got clean the horse. Jamie. Mary. Jamie. Come home, please. You've. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've, you're, oh, you'll never change. I know that. That's, that hurts. That hurt. But in some ways she's right, I guess. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to play him. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. I think it's time for him to get a shave. I tried. Keep a clean looking Arthur. Yeah, I, that's why I'm trying to play him as a as a nicer guy. Um try to help out when he can. It's not always gonna be easy. And it's interesting that he keeps a diary and he writes into it and draws in it. Those little details are amazing. And this whoa. This is this is incredible. It's like you can just soak it in. You can just feel the mud on the ground. Yeah, as I said, I had to turn the, the fidelity up for the texture to see all this. This is mad. <laughs> A mad detail, I tell you. Mad detail. Alright, I think I've done... Oh, this... What is that? What quest line is that one? Hang on. There's some other keys I keep messing up. Um, journal? Nope, not journal. That's not it. Um, what is it? No, I don't want horse cargo. Let me save this before it crashes or breaks on me. I had this game crash a few times when I was running this on DirectX 11. And I just left it a Vulcan. It seems to be much better. I don't know why it's like that. 
I think it was reported that DirectX is much, much better than Vulkan, less blurry. I don't know. Over, over the map. There was another key to bring up missions, and I keep forgetting it. It's like, ah, oh, nope. Controls. It's in. Like shooting on a horse in this game is also very, <laughs> very finicky. I'm like, what? But then shooting, yeah, on a moving horse has not always been an easy thing. So that makes sense. Um, there was a key to bring up the the mission objectives. That's not it. In game menus. Did I just go past it? I think I did. Inventory. Satchel, journal, log, L for log, of course. Yeah, let's have a look at the map one. Yeah, nothing. Oh, you're right. I had to click on it, I'm silly. <laughs> yeah. We might be in the matrix. <laughs> Rescue Sean from Bounty House holding him in black water. Well, that's, uh, what's this one? Dutch asked that you meet Micah out of, uh, that you get Micah out of jail in Strawberry. Micah? Man, Micah is terrible. He is a terrible person. Ah, uh, we can do that. Uh, should we? I mean, we can do that one. Micah, you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait, buddy. Oh, this is quite a journey. Quite a journey. There we go, log. Still can't get his pipe. I don't know who sells that. I went to the shops, couldn't find any pipes. What? Are we not, are we, we're done, right? Oh, oh, this is just getting the, because I was taking a long time. <laughs> I was like riding my horse in the slowest way possible. That's funny. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, thanks. I mean, I I try to. I try to. Um, it's not easy. I mean, like I don't have enough time in a day to play games, unfortunately. So I mean, I have at times. I have at times. Um, what the. Oh, you get away from me, sir. Half the saloon like that. Near killing Tommy out in the street. Howdy. <laughs> hey, nigga, my funky suits that. All right. Just move on. All right, all right. I don't need your type around here. Step right up. I don't want any trouble. Why are you still following me? I've had it with thugs like you. Don't you dare start. Bully your way through life. I'm not bullying anyone. <laughs> That guy. Yeah, I I try to um I guess immerse myself into the game, but it's not easy. Um there are there are times where I do rush through things because I wanna get through it. I mean it's noticeable when I'm like at a halfway point or near the end of a very massive long Open world game. The shootouts. What the? What's going on? Oh, what? What's going on here? Oh no! My holes are right. Put 
put the light away, buddy. Put the flippin' light away. Oh, this is bad. I should have brought up my, um, my shotgun. Oh, this is bad. Come on. Oh, you got him. Thank you, sir. The world changed a little time. Yeah, I heard about that. Like this house. They were building it before and now it's slowly coming together. Very cool. Hey, no problem. Uh protection money. I told him where to stick it and well. I guess you just saw how that panned out. No problem, sir. You watch yourself, all right? That is so cool. I can help him out like that. I really like that sort of thing <laughs> in games. What happened to you two? Cowering like dogs. Oh, he's telling of his kids. I've ever had. We're with you on that. Well, I'm sure you got things to do. Wow. That that is amazing. Sixty seven cents. Wait, wait. He puts aside his lantern and then he goes down and pick him up. I like got level of details is mad. Uh oh, where's my horse? My horse gone? There it is. All right. Let's head on back on our journey. Save that. The way I'm playing this game, <laughs> there is a lot of reloads. Terrible. What was I saying before? Um, oh yeah, like there's there's gonna be plenty of times where I just don't have enough time to get into it. Oh, I get burnt out. I think I get burnt out very easily as well. After I'm like, mm, I think I'm done with uh, with the world, and I just want to get through it. Um, but yeah, like I I I do try to immerse myself if I can. I mean, that's the idea, right? You're playing such a big open world game and people put so much effort and time into it and it just looks and feels gorgeous. You know? Enjoy it. Enjoy it rather than just try to um, be hyper-focused on Oh. Are you kidding me? Though Driscoll's? You guys are a pain, and there's a few of you too. Man, I've. I don't think you get it. 
We got this bridge. Exclusive like. Exclusive like. All right. Man, the boys are acting. You gotta love it. Can we go around? Oh, man. Oh, what am I doing? Hang on. Is there a better route? I don't want to tango with these guys. Is there a better route? Oh, don't fall off there. Oh, we're gonna feed the horse. All right, let's see. It's all right, girl. It's all right, girl. There you go, girl. Yeah. Is this a is this a possible route? Are they gonna freak out? That's a bunch of dinguses. We can just go around. <laughs> yep. I avoid conflict where I can. Where I can. I remember being chased by the police and I managed to get into one of those uh, high cliff areas and somehow it was such a steep um, route. It was something like this, but a lot more trickier. It was like zigzagging from the top down. I think the AI had problems chasing me down. They got stuck up there. That's funny. I managed to get down without tumbling. I think this game does a lot of heavy lifting in terms of the narration. I mean, what, sorry, let me just try to re rephrase that. Um, certain games... Like, what I'm trying to say as a streamer, a game, gamer, streamer type of person, um, I, I don't really have a lot of insightful things to say. <laughs> and this game does a lot of the heavy lifting uh, to do the conversations and, uh, you know, really showing off the environment, even though you can't quite see it right now. And that... And it just does the the work for me. If that if that makes sense. I can continuously Oh, I missed my turn, didn't I? Wait, where's that turn? What? What the It's up here, isn't it? Yep. Better not be any bears. I'm so scared of being attacked by bears. Yeah. It is scary as... Look at the details. Like, his clothes being wet from the rain. The sound... Ambience. Why did you say that? What is that noise? Look at that. Amazing. I think with this game is it's not really a spaghetti western style like your, your you know your Clint Eastwood stuff it's it's more of the um yeah romanticized version I'm trying to figure out and my memory's really terrible because I haven't seen a cowboy show in a very 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 long time um and I could only oh look at that I think I've seen less John Wayne stuff than Clint Eastwood Admittedly, the spaghetti western was easier to get in because it's it's mostly on the dramatized dramatized or 
hyper mythologized, if that's even a word, on the whole cowboy stuff. The lone gunman traveling through the west, being hunted down, or trying to find, you know, loot treasures. I watched one with it was it was quite a few years back uh, with Haley Steinfeld I think it was quite a good one. Oh, I'm trying to figure out who who directed that one. Was that Coen Brothers? I think the Coen Brothers did a couple of cowboy movies, and I can't quite remember. Oh no worries, thanks man. Thanks for stopping by and, uh, and chatting. Thank you. It's it's good seeing you. I did I did uh, lurk a few times in your stream. Um, See so you're playing Bioshock. I hope you're enjoying that. Oh no, you're playing Prey now. Prey 2018 or 20, 2017. One of um, yeah, I played that one. It was a good one as well. You have a good one, man. Thanks again. You uh, take care. Sleep well. Rest well. All the best to you. And I'll see you next time, Headcase. Hope to catch you in your stream. All the best. Hey there. Oh. Uh oh oh. Dang wolves. Who lives here? There's a railroad. It's okay, it's okay. I feel like I should eat something. Yeah, truthfully, I've never been a um, outdoorsy person. I'm a very, very indoorsy person. Very. Um, oh, hang on. What's up with this? Question mark. Question mark. Man, I should save this. Given him a shave yet. Oh, some guy take a photo, I think. Excuse me, sir. How do you put there? We go. Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or well, that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is robbing me! Oh, oh. good heavens! Don't worry! That All right. thing is a coyote! Sneaky one, too! Wildlife photographer!
And Kyle, don't think about coming back. Gonna shoot it. No, no, that's what we had to do. Dang, look at this. This game gives a sense, a different sense of, of an open world game. I, I don't even know how to describe it. I played quite a few open world stuff. I mean, recently. It makes you stop and go, fella? Mate? Buddy? Watch this whole thing. Oh, wait. Where am I going? He's this way. Now, this is nature, as... As they say, it feels like it's like a incredible virtual interpretation facsimile. What was I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. I, I tried to say something profound, but I couldn't. Full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. <laughs> you are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Did he just lose a lot of his hair? I remember that. I mean, I gave him like pomade, pomade, whatever it's called, pomade. All right, sir. Um, hang on. Can I say anything else? Look, you think maybe you should leave the wildlife photography to the fellers who know a little something about wildlife? If every great man had thought like that, there wouldn't be any great men. A little ignorance can go a long way. At least that's what I tell myself. Or it can get you killed. But hey, good luck. Photography is not that interesting to the observer. Unless I am eaten, that is. <laughs> you watch out, you watch it. You watch yourself? All right. Come on, girl. these guys I better not be dodgy please don't be uh no me dodgy I'm trying to avoid conflict trying it's not working uh do I want to overwrite that yeah let's do it Hey, 
Hey there, can I have a word? You need something? Oh no. On second thoughts. Never mind. Fine. Go on. Hey, partner. What do you want? Just greeting. I'm just greeting. You best not be trailing. No. Oh, what? <laughs> Seen by the law. You got issues with me? No. I don't have issues with you, sir. I beg your pardon. Lockdown. Try to avoid the coppers. Lowman, as they say. Place is red. This time we'll get prepared, eh? We get prepared. Vomit repeater. Wait, what? No, vomit rifle. What am I talking about? Do this mission, I gotta go. Can't believe it. Oh, now thirty. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. Hey. Hey. Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? The place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. 
Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we'll cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Come on, girl. Maybe I should get my bow and arrow instead. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother they're saying Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. And no really? money yet, it seems. I hope you know where that is, at least. Dutch and Hosea say they do, but it's trapped in the town. <laughs> oh, it must be wonderful to have such trust in one's parents. Mine would have sold me for a hog's head of ale. In fact, I think they tried. Why did you stop? I was listening to you. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Oh. Take your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? Press the wrong button. I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. <laughs> cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Yeah, all right. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. them I'm going too slow that's the problem I can't even hurry up hey they've pulled into shore all right let's take a close look the 
binoculars, gentlemen? Uh, Javier. Have you ridden a horse before, dear lord? Sorry. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew and wild. Built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? <laughs> I've got an idea. Follow me. Sorry, Javier. What are you doing? You're going to cause me to fall off. <laughs> All right, fine. You go ahead. Are you waiting on me or what? Do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your right. knife. Knife time, eh? Stay here. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Wait here. He's still reeling them in. Gentlemen, excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You take she the one on the left. Where is okay, she? come on. Stay low. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. Mm. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Javier, hang on. We'll try to loot here. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Que lindo those boots you got there, eh? Those are very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? Is he alive still? Come on, focus. That's three of them. Focus, okay. We're gonna have to shoot our way. Oh.
brutal. Oh wait, does that fill up his uh focus? Up there, on the cliff. I see Charles up there. Quick! Come on, let's get up there. Oh, I didn't get the loot. We meant to have our mask on. I feel like we are. Hey, watch out for these two. Put a bullet in this. Whoops. Guy at the top. Yeah, it does add to it. I don't know what I was talking about. I'm talking about the uh, focus. Out. <laughs> Look, they're running away. Okay, let's get Sean. Sean, quick, or to before any more show up. All Put right, me down. come on, Arthur. <laughs> Oh, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it. I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. <laughs> You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. <laughs> All right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm going to see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Oh, the Pinkerton's okay, going to be come around. Okay, come on. <laughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I well, imagine y'all miss me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Tomahawk, eh? Can I save here? I know there's gonna be the copper is gonna come along, and then boom. That's it. I don't think I'm going to go down there to pick up all the stuff.
Oh, there's no, like, special loot item. Like, the other place we went to in the cabin, there was, like, a special loot item. Oh, here we go. Get out of here. Let's go, girl. Oh boy. Where are we going? Michael. Oh, there's a lawman. All right, we gotta get out of here. Oh, it's gonna cross path with them. Far out. Clean the holes by going through water, right? Are you mad? Are you? Are you mad? Um... Oh wait! No! 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 So the cop's gone now? Hmm. Do I not clean the horse? Do I have to brush the horse all the time? I'm gonna pop myself here and then we're gonna I'm gonna finish up the stream. Save this.
Thank you anyone that's lurking or watching this on the archives. I hope you all have a good day or night. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!